help you will like it. Um, unfortunately, it is not allowed to use a calculator in the solution of our question. But don't worry, my friends. There is usually a shortcut in such questions, and we will try to find it using variables. Let the variable a be equal to 100. Let's write the other numbers in terms of the variable a. Let's equate the product of the variable a with the variable a plus 9 to the variable b. In this case, the product of a plus 3 and a plus 6 will equal b plus 18. Now we will try to find the answer to the question in terms of variable b. Sweetie, could you explain how you can find b plus 18 here? Oh, sure mom. I will explain it in more detail. Oops. The result of the product of a and a plus 9 is b squared plus 9a. And the product of a plus 3 and a plus 6 is a squared plus 9a plus 18. If b is equal to a squared plus 9a for the first product, then we get b plus 18 for the second product. Is it okay, mom? Yes, sweetie. Let's continue then. If we write the inside of the root in terms of variable b, we will see something interesting. A perfect square is formed inside the root. This is exactly what we need. We are very close to the answer. That was the initial state of the problem. And now we have its value in variable b. Remember, we first equated the variable a to 100. This was the value of b in terms of a. As a result of the product, we find the value of b as 10,900. So the answer is 10,909. Hi again, my friends. If you like to find magic in math problems, please follow me here. If you solve them with another method, please share it in the comments. Is this my dinner?